A few items that arrived in the P.O. box the other day. Now we're going to go track down True Love for Tuesdays with True Love. Okay, let's see. Middle distance day, which uh, so you do long runs, you do easy days, tempo days, threshold days, and then I also like to mix in middle distance days. So today, 15 miles, looking like 7.45 a mile. There it is on your screen, feeling good. Oh yeah, that puts us over 50 miles. That was really quick, 50 miles in the New Balance Fuel Cell TC, so I will get you a full review of these shoes. Probably not uh, in the next day or two. Yeah, next day or two gets a little busy, but uh, sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, one last point is that a shout out to Adam on uh, on Twitter. He was asking about which slant board I use for recovery. So I thought today I'd show you a few. I also there's some people asking. I think it was on Facebook. Um, about the uh, massage guns. So I'll, I'll go over some massage gun stuff as well. All right, whoo, big week, big week. Okay, Adam, so here it is. Yes for All is the brand of this slant board. And actually somebody, I think on the Facebook group, made his own. It was very impressive design. But my the brand that I use is Yes for All. And it's a very, very high build quality. I will have this thing for the rest of my life. I have a feeling like it just, it's very stout in its build quality. And it usually lives in front of my standing desk. And so I use this every day as I'm answering emails, getting on, you know, the computer, editing, um, and I'm stretching my calves, soleus out as I'm working. So a little multitasking. So you just, you know, put it on the ground there and just like that, oh man, it feels amazing. And I think for mountain running, it's really, really good just to, uh, because in the angle that you're planting your foot into the ground on steep climbs up in the mountains, uh, you're really putting a lot of torque onto your Achilles tendon, again, your soleus, um, everything right there in that lower ankle. And so this slant board helps a ton with recovery for that. So love this thing. Yes for all is the brand. So I'm remembering, I'm remembering another conversation we had. Uh, we have a lot of good conversations on social media. I know social media can get a bad rap sometimes, but it is a good opportunity to share ideas and I can't find it on Twitter, but somebody asked what would be my top five pieces of gear that I would recommend for somebody that's getting into longer trail running, ultra running, and I can't find it, but I replied with number one, um, a hat, a running hat, just to keep that sun off of you. Number two, sunglasses that do not have rims, especially rims on the bottom, to help with your line of sight uh, to see the rocks and the roots, uh, especially a really aggressive trail running. So that was number two. Number three, a handheld water bottle. I like Nathan, okay? Um, and then number four, I said, not anything that you use while you run, but four and five were items that you would use when you would get back from the run. Number four was the slant board, and number five was this Hyper Ice Viper 2.0 massage, uh, vibrating massage uh, foam roller. Love this thing for recovery and for really just working the niggles out when, after being out on your feet for, you know, those four hour, five hour, six hour runs where you're getting, you know, let's say five to 10,000 feet of vertical gain. This thing has saved me. I think I bought this about, oh man, 
about a year ago, maybe nine months ago, roughly. So love, love, love this thing. It is available down below if you want to pick one up. It is expensive though, but again, back to build quality. I believe it is made, um, I think it's designed in Germany, but anyway, Hyper Ice Viper 2.0. Those are my top five items for getting into ultra running and just making sure you're taking care of the body along the way. All right, let's foam roll here. grabbing a few items that arrived in the P.O. box the other day and we're gonna go track down True Love for Tuesdays with True Love. All right, I put him in the studio here. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. We, we had to rearrange everybody just a little bit because of the, uh, the sunlight. Okay, so here's the deal. We appreciate when items arrive at the P.O. Box, yes. but it's extra nice when it's not just my name. Aww. It's both of our names. So I don't know what this yeah, is. Bridges. And yes, we're gonna get an update on True Love's training in one second. Little injury update as well. <laughs> All right, you open that up. Thank you go you for, for that. Thank you for spelling my name right. That's right, B-R-I-G-I-D. Oh. Thank you, Ruby. Oh, that will be so nice. So nice for the next giveaway. Michael from Australia sending in socks. Oh, that is oh, awesome. Wow. Look at the ooh green. green. Yeah, that's nice. And a Colorado, Sorry. what company is this? Oh, you know you know I love that color. Oh, cool. Thank you, Michael. And look at there's a Colorado. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's look great. at great. That's awesome. Okay, that's really cool. Re these look really nice. We've Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. Okay. This is exciting. This is exciting. <laughs> Oh my oh, goodness. My shirts to Bridget and Seth. Thank you for the shout out. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, that is awesome. Wait, like yours, so thank you, Vincent. We'll read the entire oh, wow. letter uh, here in a minute. Oh, my, Let's open you. that one up. Yeah. Oh, I love pink. Right? Make sure we get in the flight there. Oh, yes, oh that's awesome. Oh, yes. Looking thank good. You. And again, thank you so much to Ruby and Michael and Tiara, right? Yes, Isabella. Lucy, Vincent, you Thank guys are spoiling us. Thanks for taking the time. Cause I know, you know, going to the post office, oh, yeah. it takes time. All right, you ready for the update? Here we go. Okay. Tuesdays with True Love, let's rock and roll. Now here's the deal. Uh, we had a good week of training this yes. past week. So it was um, three days. Four days. Four, sorry, four days out of the last seven. Yes. With a three on, three off times five. Yes. So if that makes sense to you, it's basically 30 minutes of yeah, uh, on off, uh, yeah, run walk, and then finished off with 10 to 20 minutes of walking. Yeah. Four days. Four of them. Four of them, boom. Yes. But here's the deal. Ugh. What happened last night, true love? And then guess what? This happens to everybody, <laughs> meaning little niggles, little injuries. Mm -hmm. So what happened last night? Everything was great with the run walk and feeling amazing and came back. And that day, because of life and guests, we, I didn't get it until late at night. So I was going through the house picking up toys. Just last night. Things. Actually, just two toys. But I bent <laughs> down toys. so quick, and I don't know if I didn't bend my knee or something, and I got the two toys and shot up, and then I was like, ow, oh, oh, oh. Pulled something. Yeah, some it, sort of like muscle tweak. Right, right around the hip and groin, hip area, like hamstring, upper hamstring. Yeah. So on yep. this is the first time so how was the actual running for three minutes because yeah. that's a that's a bump up from two minutes yeah okay one the very first day i did forget and i oh, did yeah. the two i forgot yeah. about so we did the two minute and three minutes but it, it felt really good and some of the times you know what the harder ones the first one would be feel great and then the harder ones would be the middle two or three and then the last one would feel great but you know, I, I don't know why I said maybe I'm doing more hills. It's not I feel like it's getting harder <laughs> yeah. versus easier. And then I was telling him out of all the days, the four days of the run walk combo and all the intervals, the last time on the last interval, I stopped forty eight seconds early. And I just was it was like almost nine o'clock at night. That was my fault. I should not have laughed. So the trick is that you're tired. That is yeah. why it's getting harder. Because you're training oh. you're training more and, and it's later at night. The kiddos no, it's the kiddos are wearing you out through the day. Yeah. That is why it's getting harder. <laughs> Don't forget about the kiddos. I knew, I knew there was something. So, it, it's actually a good sign to keep in mind, everyone, when you're feeling a little tired, to sleep more. Mm. That is the number one thing, more than mm. foam rolling, more than ice baths, more mm. than, well, okay, eating healthier, but I mean, really, 
The sleep. Everything I've read, sleep is the key. Wow. Going to bed earlier will make your recovery happen faster okay. because when you're sleeping, that is when your body is actually re rebuilding. You're working so while that, you're sleeping. You're working while you're sleeping. It's beautiful. And you love sleep. I love sleep. <laughs> she loves sleep. I mean, I don't want to do my own horn. I'm kind of an expert. So, <laughs> so naps. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So anyway, this okay. next this next week, yeah. all right, you ready for this? Pause. Can we just tell them my mom's in town now? Oh, yeah. So I actually can go in the morning. Yep. So that's the shift now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll carve out the time in the morning. So everything is an asterisk right now because of your little, oh, yeah. your little injury. So we'll see how you feel tomorrow okay. and the next day. Um, we're, we're going to see if you walk today, if you walk okay. today. If I walk today, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's, it is a good sign, but I do think in the next seven days, we're yep. good. We should take one day off okay. and just kind of reset. Okay. Let the body reset, let it heal. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay. So the, it's basically flip flopping. So we started with two, four. Yeah. And now we're going. Oh yeah. Now we're four, two. So four minutes of jogging. Yeah. Two minutes of walking. Okay. Four minutes of jogging. Okay. Two minutes of jogging. And it was three minutes of walking last week. This last week. So it's, so it's been two. bumped. It's been bumped up. Wow, yeah. So you were working there. We're getting there. And we're back. Just had to talk to UPS. So sorry I interrupted. What were you saying? Oh, that I ran for 15 minutes last night. Yeah. And I feel like I just started a couple weeks ago, but it's been a more yeah. I'm just proud of that. I'm proud of that. Oh, it's happening. So now four minutes of running, two minutes of walking, five intervals. Five intervals. Four of the days for the days, yeah. but with a big asterisk because of, the because of your hip. hip thing. So it will just see, we My might, <laughs> we might need to take one day off. Okay. Maybe, you know, probably not two days, but just a little reset. Okay. Um, if it doesn't, it, depending on how it feels in the morning. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Okay. And probably a baby walk today. A baby walk. <laughs> we'll see, a little baby walk. All right, there's the t Tuesdays with True Love update. Boom, crushed it, crushed it. That was a great week. Good job, hon. This was a fun meal time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Boom. Appreciate it. Oh, man. I know those socks are Those cool. socks are awesome. <laughs> We're going to make it, hon. We're a little tired. We're just a little... Uh, no, to, those days... To, to the moon. To the moon with the kids. To, to, to the moon. To the moon. Hanging on you emotionally, physically, every second. All day long. It's one of those days. <laughs> We're going to make it. Oh. This is real life, everybody. This is real life. This is why we. Food. This is why we film every single day. The highs and the lows, mostly highs, mostly, mostly highs, mostly top of the mountains, literally, <laughs> Amen. and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also there's valleys in this world. So, but True Love's got the comfort food going here. Some Come potatoes. on now. Come on Come now. On. There it is. Mashed potatoes. Pot roast. The pot roast. Hello. Hello. Oh, sal poor husband. <laughs> so we're gonna make it everybody but it's been a been a doozy of a day yeah. doozy of an afternoon too okay do you really know what tomorrow is well it technically you super fans, <laughs> do you know what happens on june 10th Shh. guess below guess below oh man it's a good day it's a good day turning the page everybody just making sure making sure every day we're every year we're making progress mm -hmm. And Make, they are. And we, we are. We have amazing children and we love them. But, you know, to the moon sometimes. To the moon sometimes. Woo! What do we say about real life? We just dropped a plate. Just dropped a plate. Oh my goodness. There it is. I mean, for heaven's sake. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Dinner was amazing. I'm stuffed. Going to bed. Everyone's going to bed. We need, we need a good night's sleep tonight at the Demore household all right but not before putting down a little dark chocolate with almonds and the question of the day i probably asked this about a year ago what is your go-to dessert not your favorite dessert that you have like on your birthday or on some some other special occasion but your go-to dessert okay mine is definitely dark chocolate with almonds let us know if you have some recipes to share maybe share them down below i bet other people have some recipes out there they're like looking for ideas for dessert so i just but for me i can't beat the dark chocolate with almonds all right everyone we're gonna toss it back to a vlog from summer 2019 right there i'll grab something from a year ago summer 2019 right there right there right there butter that bread everybody all right thanks for being here thanks for watching seek beauty work hard and love each other See you tomorrow.